The student involvement is an absolutely vital component of our research and I'm really pleased to be able to say that one of the strongest publications of my career to date was co-authored with an undergraduate student who it was based on research from her dissertation project. There's a very wide range of research conducted in the Centre for Visual Cognition, for example that topics including airport security or how we combine information from our different senses such as touch and vision or my own personal interest which is children's literacy development. Students typically get involved quite early on in their degree, often taking part as research participants and then later on they get more involved in the running of experiments through schemes such as the Voluntary Research Assistance Scheme or for their dissertation project in their third year. And by measuring these pauses you can discuss... I think that students really benefit from having the opportunity to be actively involved in very high quality research and they get the opportunity to investigate a topic in depth that's of interest to them such as dyslexia. As still as you can and stare right at the middle of these dots for me. In my research, I'm interested in losing children's eye movement recordings as they're reading to understand more about how they learn to read. For example, we can look at which words in a sentence they look at or which ones they don't look at, how long they look at words for, the order in which they look at the words in a sentence. And by looking at these kinds of things, we can get a lot of information about how their brain is processing written language. This is very interesting with respect to developmental changes and we look at a range of different projects involving typically developing children, children with reading difficulties such as dyslexia, or children with hearing impairment. And it, it seems not that widely known that significant reading difficulties are quite common in individuals with hearing impairment. And we, we conduct this kind of research in the Centre for Visual Cognition, and it's just one of the many projects that go on in the eye tracking lab, as well as using the wider range of facilities that we have here. There's a lot of research conducted around the world using eye movement recordings to study reading, but we're one of a handful of groups that are using this to look at children. That's really quite unusual at the moment. And in addition to basic reading research in, in developmental populations, we have other projects running such as looking at how your two eyes are coordinated when you're reading. And you might assume that both eyes are looking at exactly the same place on the page when you're reading, but what we've shown is that that's often not the case and your two eyes are quite frequently looking at different letters within the word as you're reading. And in order to study that, we need very, very high quality, precise equipment. We use dual Purkinje image eye trackers, we, which were developed back in the 60s in conjunction with NASA. We're the only lab group in the UK that have two of these machines set up side by side. And what this means is that we can measure both the left and right eye simultaneously as someone's reading to study exactly how the eyes are coordinated as they're reading. We hope that in the longer term our research will support development of specialist programmes that can help children learn to read, especially those who are having difficulties such as children with dyslexia or children with a hearing impairment. And students often seem really interested in this research. I think they appreciate seeing how lab-based re research that can be appear quite abstract at first actually can have real-world applications and can make a real difference to people's quality of life. I think that through being involved in this kind of research, students improve their understanding of, of psychology. It, it really gives them depth to what they're, they're taking from lectures and textbooks by giving it a, a real first-hand experience of what, what, it, what it takes to get those neat, neat little summary statements in textbooks, what, what, what was actually involved in getting to that point. I think they develop their practical skills as well as their theoretical understanding. It sometimes results in a publication for a student, which can look fantastic on their CV at the end of their degree, and it gives them a chance to specialise and to study in depth the particular areas of psychology that are of interest to them.